Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I want to wish you guys Happy New Year's and I hope you guys are kicking off the new year uh, very strong and positive. If you have not subscribed to my channel, definitely hit that subscribe button so you can get notified for all the new videos that are coming up. All right my lovelies, let's get into your reading. Now we're going to start off with oracle cards and we're going to see what spirit is trying to communicate in regards to your love and romance. Right after that, we will get into the tarot cards. Okay, so you have <clears throat> adjacent possibilities, door to spirit, and broken heart. For some of you guys, you're currently dealing with some type of heartache, some type of feeling let down, feeling like you've put a lot of effort into a connection or a situation, uh, perhaps even kind of sacrificed um, or self-sacrificed yourself trying to accommodate uh, the individual or person that you were dealing with. And it's almost as if they either given up on you, walked away, um, or uh, there was some type of breakup here. Now, the possibilities for you are endless Taurus. What they're saying here is that there's a lot of opportunities that have been, you know, even doors have been closed for a while for some of you. It's almost like you move forward, but then you take two, three steps backwards. And it's like a tug and pull type of energy where you felt very restricted the past couple of months. With the door to spirit, you have two doors in these cards. So there's new opportunities that are coming your way. Perhaps for some of you guys, you could have been dealing with a situation where there was a separation or a temporary separation. You came back or gave the person another opportunity um, only to feel like they took you for granted or like um, they didn't appreciate that second chance. But again... We have doors opening up for you. So I feel that for a lot of you guys, you could have been dealing with this person for quite a while. For others of you, it could be like if you were in a committed relationship, in a very long-term relationship, marriage, um, living together type of situation where you blocked your own blessings by going back to the past. And <clears throat> now things are starting to sink in there is a gut feeling here of remorse or regret, perhaps because I shouldn't have given them that opportunity. You're judging yourself very harshly. And what they're telling you here is that sometimes we have to continue going through the same lesson in order to get it. It may come from different people. It may come from different situations. However, the correlation or the meaning or the lesson behind it is the same. And what they're telling you here is do not water yourself down, Taurus. Do not settle. Do not go back because there is comfortability. There is, um, you know, you're comfortable. It's like the what I'm hearing is like, yeah, they keep either cheating on me or they keep lying to me, but at least I know who they are versus having to deal with someone new. And what they're telling you here is, yes, you may feel that way, but there's nothing worse than being in a relationship and feeling alone or feeling like you're not supported. So there is a catalyst that's happening here. And what Spirit is telling you is you need to open your eyes and know your worth, know your power, know the possibilities that are around you. Stop looking to the past because of fear, because it's something new, because you don't know what may happen. There is beauty behind that. All right, let's get into your reading, Taurus. Now, your partner's cards here is the death card. Yeah, I see for a lot of you guys, there was some type of ending or some type of separation here. We have the Queen of Swords and the Five of Swords. Now your cards here, the Ten of Coins, the Knight of Cups, and the Eight of Swords. All right. 
So how your partner, the person you're dealing with is seeing the situation, they seen that or they're viewing that this relationship has gotten to the point of no return. There is almost an acceptance that there is no longer emotional connection here. Um, for some of you guys, it could be that there was an ending, a breakup, like I said. Uh, for others of you, you may be dealing with a Scorpio energy. There is air energy here. There's earth energy, fire energy. Um, now, they're viewing the situation as there was an ending that had to happen with the Queen of Swords. There is something that they are either, they've refused in the past and now it's like they're accepting it. Uh, Queen of Swords could be very harsh. It could be conversations where they're extremely disrespectful or they're very straightforward to the point. Yes, it hurts. You know, yes, I'm hurting Taurus's feelings. But in their head, I feel like I'm doing them a favor by being completely honest or by no longer holding back and pretty much saying or, or communicating or letting go everything that I've been holding deep down inside. With the Five of Swords, there is a feeling of wanting to prove something. So I feel that this energy with the Five of Swords and the Queen of Swords especially, it's almost like they're trying to prove that they were right or they're trying to prove that they had the right to do whatever it is that they did in this relationship that left you feeling like they betrayed you or like they hurt you or like they let you down. And it's very egocentric type of energy that I'm sensing here. So it could be that you're dealing with a person that could be very passive aggressive. It could be an individual that has, it's kind of like they push you, they push you, they push you. Then you react and you push them back. <clears throat> and then they tell you, you see, that's why I can't talk to you. Or you see, that's why I can't deal with you because you're crazy. But they pushed you to the point of having to defend yourself or having to snap. Um, that's the type of energy I'm sensing here. Now, on your part, you have the Ten of Coins. Well, yes, um, Pinky, I, the Taurus, have been trying very hard putting effort in this relationship, whether it was to keep the shit together because of the kids, whether because of the family, or because we've been together for a very long time. With the Knight of Cups here, I love this person. I have sacrificed so much. I have put so much effort and energy towards it. But I'm at the point where I feel like I'm stuck, like I can't move forward. I'm scared. I'm scared of what may come. I'm scared of the future. I feel like it was for nothing. That's where you're at right now. That's how you're feeling. So... It's almost like your energy in some way, it's taking on certain responsibilities or even like taking, taking self-responsibility, I should say, versus your partner, the person you're dealing with is absolutely not doing that. They're like, nope, this is, I have to be harsh to Taurus. I have to, uh, you know, be transparent. I'm doing them a favor. They're, they're going to come to the realization that I'm right. There's no apology here. There is a definite ending. It's time to flip the page, Taurus. It's time to move on. It's the beginning of a new year. Whether it's you're holding on to this relationship because of children, because you feel like you're trapped, because you feel like uh, perhaps you're not going to be able to make it financially, whatever the situation may be. Is it really worth you putting up with this type of energy? Constantly belittling you. That's the energy I'm feeling here. Now we have the Emperor and the Four of Wands here. And this is the partner's cards. Your cards here is the Knight of Swords and the Nine of... Uh, sorry, the Knight of Swords and the Nine of Swords. Yeah. So you're very much in your head. They're over here with the Emperor card. The Death and Emperor, they're definitely not going to budge. They're definitely not going to see it your way. You can sit there, cry. You can sit there, text them like a full novel of what they've been doing wrong. They're, they're not going to get it. It's going to go through one ear and out the other. The death and the emperor. The emperor is uh, 
very, very strong headed individual. This is a person that is not like that. Once they sit on their throne, they expect you to be the one to take the initiative, to be the one to take the responsibility, to be the one to take the blame. And with the four of wands, I feel that this individual, this person did want potentially to have some type of long-term connection here. Uh, it could be that you're married. It could be that you're living with them. But it's like you have to see the things their way because if you don't, then you're against them. That's the energy that I'm sensing with this, with this energy over here. And ultimately, if you're dealing with a person this way, basically... It is not working out because you're not doing what they're do what they're telling you or what they're expecting from you. It's like you have to settle or you have to be okay with whatever they give you or whatever they say or whatever they think you should be doing. So that's removing your individuality, Taurus. That's removing what you're capable of doing because they're limiting you or wanting to limit you, wanting to limit your progress, wanting to limit getting to the point of being self-reliant, getting to the point of being financially stable without their help, without their need. With the Knight of Swords and the Nine of Swords, there is, you have to let go of what has ended. Because if you don't, and should you continue to put effort or hold on to this situation, you're going to end up feeling not only... That's if you're not already dealing with depression, if you're not already dealing with anxiousness, with stress. This is all mental. And they're over here high and mighty. So the advice for you, Taurus, is to let go of the endings that have came up to surface. Embrace the, those endings. Yes, it could be scary, but it could be the best thing that ever happened to you. Because once you're able to pull away from that type of energy and from that restriction, you're able to create the life that you want. You're able to chase after your goals and aspirations. With this 10 of coins here, you will be crowned. You will be empowered. You will be self-reliant. You will be stable. But it is not through other people. It is through your self-determination and focus on working on yourself. Okay, Taurus? I hope this helps you guys in some shape, way, or form. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.